thank you. I accept this award on behalf of... No, I can't do it. I, it's not mine. It belongs to these three lovely ladies here. And, of course, Charlie and Lola, written by Lauren Child. We've also got Claudia and Kitty here, who are producer and director. How does it feel to have two BAFTAs on one night? Lovely. It's extraordinary. <laughs> it's incredible. It's, it's heavy. I mean, you won two BAFTAs last year as well. Um, oh, I wasn't counting. We were just so shocked to win it. So um, it was hard work, but we really, really had a fantastic crew. And all of our cast were kids who, I think the oldest was eight years of age and Lola was four when she started. Mm. And so it was hard work, but it was really, really fun. And actually everyone loved it from the beginning because the books were so beautiful. And we just carried that kind of passion through it. And I think that comes out in the programme. Hello? Hello, Charlie. It's Lotta. Oh. Has anybody rang about Rabbit yet? No, not yet. Lotta, oh. you have to get off the telephone. Somebody might be calling. Oops, sorry. Bye. Somebody will call soon, won't they, Charlie? I'm sure they will. Lauren, let's come to you now, of course, because this started with you, didn't it? Did it start in, in a bedroom? Did it start in a study with a piece of paper and a pencil? How did, Laura, uh, did Charlie and Lola come about? Uh, it started on a train in Denmark when I saw this extraordinary um, four-year-old child um, nattering away in Danish. And I didn't know what she was saying, but she was somehow a bit mesmerising. And so I went away and I wrote a story about her. And so, of course, you've got Charlie and Lola, the book, which then became Charlie and Lola, the animation. Is that a long process? Did you, did you actually want to get that done, or did somebody approach you? I didn't at first. I was really reluctant, because you don't know what's going to happen. And I really picked um, Tiger, because I'd met Claudia, and I just thought, A, she's the kind of person who's going to get it made, and B, they hadn't done really any children's stuff before, which I thought was a, a really exciting way of approaching it. And so it, it seemed like a bit of an adventure. So I was quite excited, yeah. Didn't you illustrate the books as well? Yes, I did. So how do you feel when you then have a, a meeting with people who say, we're now going to animate it? Did you take part in animating the, the actual series, or was that somebody else? Well, I don't do any of the animation. As far as all the really tricky stuff goes, I didn't have to do any of that, thank goodness. So that's mainly kind of Kitty's crew. <laughs> <laughs> All the inspiration is from, is from Lauren's drawings and I just have to try and work with the beautiful raw material and, uh, and that's what we did. Do you think it's important that the characters look the way they do as well? Do you think if they were drawn differently it would change the series? Because there is that interesting take on your own imagination when you read a book and then if somebody pr pr provides the pictures for you, you all of a sudden go, oh, that's not how I imagine them at all. It's, it's a weird thing. So you're sort of giving the characters and saying this is what they are. But you've also got the characters in the book as well. So how, how did you play that? Was it a careful choice? I think we worked very closely as a team on it. I mean, when Lauren writes her books, her text is very kind of prescriptive and has a lot of character and is very funny. And we thought, how are we going to do that on the screen? And I think we all agreed from very early days that the key was to getting kids to be the voices and young kids. I mean, our, our Lola really is four or five years old and all the stumblings and little giggles that she does is what brings that little flat character alive in an animation. And I do think that's why kids kind of go, that's our programme, that's, we're sorting our own problems out. And it's got a, a sort of throwback feel as well. I think the, the fact that um, we worked so hard, well, you worked so hard at um, getting it to, to look like it's all made of paper, it's like this paper world, a bit like something like Captain Pugwash or something like that. Mm. I think that also gives it a really nice sort of retro feel, and I think that very much appeals to, to adults. Well, I'm conscious that there's a winner's party to get to, which, of course, you deserve to be at, working so hard. Congratulations once more on the two BAFTAs. <laughs> Have a lovely evening. I'll see you again. Thank you very much. Thank you.